Hello, and welcome to Bluetooth and Zigbee Best Practices. The purpose of this short video is to show you how to get the best utilization of your iManifold system with your Bluetooth and Zigbee connections. All your wireless connections will review here today. First of all, it's important to understand that your iManifold connects to your smart device via a Bluetooth connection. This is a commonly used connection for smart devices today, typically connecting to cars and speaker systems. But the range of a Bluetooth is typically 200 to 400 feet. However, if you go through drywall, you could experience a minimal reduction in the signal, but typically not too much of a reduction. However, if you go through concrete and metal, you can experience significant reduction and uh, possibly distances as low as 20 to 30 feet. It's best to keep your manifold elevated. The higher your manifold is, the, the better the chance of receiving uh, the Bluetooth signal and completing your connection. Avoid hanging the I manifold against the condenser. In this picture here, you see the, the manifold is hanging right up against the condenser. This is especially difficult if your smart device is on the other side of the condenser. This forces the Bluetooth to go through two sh uh, layers of steel and significantly reduces the effectiveness of that connection. Here's another example of the I manifold hanging on the condenser. However, in this example, the smart device is in front and close. So in this case, the manifold will most likely connect very easily to your smart device. Avoid putting the I-manifold on the ground. Uh, this, this will significantly reduce the, the uh, effectiveness of your Bluetooth connection. Here's a great example in a residential application of where to hang your manifold. If your disconnect is right on the house there, hang it off and as high as possible. This will eliminate the, the I manifold having to go through any part of the condenser. Now, the wireless probes connect to the I manifold via a Zigbee radio connection. And both the probes, uh, or all of your probes, have a Zigbee radio in them. The typical range for the Zigbee radio is about 200 to 400 feet. You also have the ability to add additional wireless probes, which will increase the distance and strength of the, of the Zigbee signal. Again, drywall will have minimal reduction, but some. But concrete and metal can provide potential significant reduction in that Zigbee signal. In this example, we see uh, the use of an obstruction coming into play. We have thick metal or concrete, and that wireless probe is unable to connect to the I manifold. In that case, the actual connection will go from one wireless probe to another, and then to the I manifold. So your wireless probes have the ability to talk to each other and create the best pathway back to the I manifold. If you have a situation where both wireless probes are obstructed, then you'll need to add an additional repeater probe. This is another wireless probe that can be placed on the exterior or end of the obstruction. This will then allow the connection to take place, and each of the probes can talk to each other and build a pathway back to the I-manifold. So remember, the probes talk to the manifold, but the manifold talks to your smart device. So it's important to know that if you ever lose your, your wireless probe connection, moving your smart device closer to the wireless probes will not help. You need to reestablish that connection between the probe and the manifold before you can see it on your smart device. Here's an example of the use of wireless probes throughout a typical residential application. And you can see here that we have one probe in the attic, 
and then the air supply duct. However, we also have another wireless router. So these probes will, will all talk to each other and create the best pathway back to the I-manifold. So the more wireless probes and additional routers you have, the better connection you'll have to your I-manifold. So let's talk about the connection priority. We talked about the fact that your I-manifold connects directly to your smart device via a Bluetooth connection. This is a very important connection because if you do not have this connection, then you're completely out of luck. Because remember, the only way to look at your gauges is through your smart device. So you need to have that Bluetooth connection established. So establish that first. If you find that you move and you lose that connection, then it's important to move back to the place where you had the last solid connection. And then you can walk away slowly from that point. But at least you'll have a, a point where you know that you always have a good connection. After you have your Bluetooth connection established, now you can get your wireless probe connection or your Zigbee connection established. So turn on your wireless probes while they're close to the manifold and establish that connection first so that both probes are talking to the I-manifold. Once those are talking and the connection is solid, then place those probes in the supply and return ductwork. If for some reason you lose the connection, then you can attempt to take your supply air probe and move it closer to the I-manifold. Then you'll be able to reestablish the connection and your return probe can then communicate to the I-manifold through the supply probe. If this connection cannot be established, then you'll need to use a repeater probe to, to get that connection established. It's also important to remember that creating a Zigbee connection can take anywhere from two to four minutes, which seems like an eternity in the field. But you can, uh, two to four minutes is not a long time, so make sure that you give it ample time to make that connection. Finally, the last connection we have is the internet connection. In order to send reports, your smart device needs to be connected to the internet, at which time then that data will be sent to our cloud. That allows you to do Tech Connect, create reports, and eventually store all that data in our cloud. So in order to do any of these functions and save your data, your smart device needs to have an internet connection. Hopefully this will, this will help you get the best use out of your wireless connections with the iManifold system. Thanks for listening.